वेलकम बैक टू दी एस पी ब्लॉजम सो हाई ओप यू ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू दी एस पी ब्लॉजम सो हाई ओप यू ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट सो टुडे आई विल बी शोइंग यू गेट अंड रेडी विथ मी इट इट मीन्स हैव टू आई रिमूव माई मेकअप एंड हाउ बिकॉज इट्स नाइट आई बी यूजिंग माई स्किन केयर आई बी डूइंग माई स्किन केयर नाइट स्किन केयर रूटीन एंड यू कैन सी आई हैव लोड्स ऑफ मेकअप आई हैव वॉटर प्रूफ मस्कारा आई हैव आई शेडो आई हैव foundation i have the liquid lipstick from sugar and i have so much makeup on the highlighter as well so i'll be removing it now so to remove my makeup i'll be using um this rice water bright cleanser and i'll show you how uh, you know how i remove my makeup with it but uh, uh, it doesn't actually clean the waterproof makeup so for that i will be using the l'oreal waterproof L'Oreal uh, Paris waterproof makeup remover and I'll just use it for my eyes uh, especially for my mascara and for my lips to remove my liquid lipstick and then we'll go ahead with this one I have my hair tied up and so I don't have it in front of my you know when I'm cleansing my face so I'm using this L'Oreal makeup remover for especially for my uh, waterproof makeup which I'll be removing it and see it's actually you know oil based makeup remover it's semi oil i really like the way it is it floats on this liquid you can just mix it i'll just take very little bit because it's really it works very well so i'll take a little bit and i'll just put it on my eyes for a bit So I'll remove my So this is when I remove it with my waterproof makeup and I'll show you how it works. I'll take another cotton pad. I'm using this loop uh face shop one. I'll just use a little bit because it comes out more. And you can see the waterproof mascara would not come out completely. When I use this, I get completely. So you know, it doesn't remove the waterproof makeup, but it removes the other makeup well. So let me remove this with the waterproof makeup remover. You know, a very important whenever you want to apply makeup, you make sure when you're sleeping or before you sleep, or as much as early, you can remove the makeup because it's like an added layer of every chemical product you're adding on top of skincare. and also make sure you add a good skin care when you're using makeup frequently because your know, skin care is very important so I'll remove my lipstick my lipstick is removed completely and my waterproof makeup is removed so i have yeah i have cleaned it now i'll actually use um, i'll use the face shop rice water bright cleansing water and uh, i will take it smells so make sure you're gentle you're not too too much so i'll try to remove my foundation and if there's any excess makeup you know much friends with the water thinking more it also more to any foundation has been coming out it was remove this at this side it actually is not you know it does not make my skin burning it's really gentle and it actually makes my skin clean as well you can see the foundation is on front and i use the other side as well so i'll try to cleanse whatever is left out so my skin is quirky clean now I've removed all the makeup. Yeah, I've removed it, but I'll again use an empty one just to make sure I don't have anything left. See, you have little traces. So it's always, you know, recommended to use a best cleanser when you remove the makeup because you never know there might be little traces left. So yeah, I have removed everything. It feels a little sticky, so. Yeah, that's how I remove make makeup using this. Use the Face Shop Rice Water All in One Cleanser. It is a good exfoliator. It is a good, you know, cleanser. It also removes the makeup. So you just need one pump of it. Yeah, that's it. And actually massage it. So if there's any left out makeup it will remove everything. Make sure you you know cleanse your face a little patiently not in a hurry bari. So now I'll add a little water. Okay. So 
so I'm adding a little water and I can see it lathers up very well cleanse my face you can see I feel it's so nice there's no makeup and I feel it's so cleansed so I'll just pat dry see I feel really nice hydrated I'll be using this um, ocean salt face scrub and this is from Lush I'm taking a little bit and I'll be putting all over my skin when it is when you are applying it on your dry skin it actually is a hard exfoliator so you have to be very gentle otherwise it will be too harsh but you can apply water you can add water to it and it's really nice exfoliator when you add water to it a little water easily scrub it on my face i have cleansed my skin after the scrub you can see it's so moisturized i feel it's like so so moisturized i use face masks twice in a week and uh, i also try to use a sheet mask but now i'm not using it uh, today because yesterday i just used one and i'll be using this face shop trc toner as i said i'll take good two th three pumps and all i do is i just pat you know the uh, best way for any product to sink in your skin is you lightly pat it and yeah it is the best way to get the product sinked in you feel it so plumped up moisturized but I will again use this. I'll use the same number of pumps, three to four. I'll just pat it, leave it for a few seconds so it all sinks up well because it's the second time it takes a little more time to sink up everything. This is how I apply multiple times. I'll take a little bit again. It's just two pumps so it's not too much. And if you do it regularly, you would, you would see a drastic difference on the skin texture, the skin, the way how your skin feels. Because no product can create just magic in once or twice, in, in usage of once or one or two usages. Um, it actually needs, a, you know, it takes some time for your skin to adopt it and the product to sink in well and work itself. So you have to be continuous, you have to be patient and it depends from skin to skin. It, so few people might see results very quickly, few people might not see quickly, so it depends. You might have to be a little patient. And yeah, so I applied five times and I feel it's like quite moisturized now and now my skin would not take more moisture in it. I use the Forest Essential Eye Cream. I really love this eye cream. This is the Hydra Eye Gel. This is the light cream. I, you can say almost empty. They, this is how the cream color is. So just take a little bit. And make sure whenever you apply eye cream, you use these ring fingers because you have least pressure on this and this area is very sensitive. So I'll just apply. So I massage it a little bit, no pressure. However you feel it's good, yeah, I feel I, am, I need to sleep now. And now I actually apply, um, normally I apply the L'Oreal Hydra, Hydra Active 3 Sensible Skin and this, I use it as my night cream. I really love it. But today I'll be using the Face Shop Chia Seed No Shine Hydrating, Intense Hydrating Cream. So I'll be using this cream as my night cream. You can use it as day cream. I'll just put a little on my face and I'll just massage it lightly because it's a light cream, it's not a thick cream. Usually it's recommended to use a thicker cream in the night because your skin actually gets it well. But today I want to try this. So it depends on my mood whether I want to apply a thicker cream or thinner cream. I actually use a serum or oil before I use a cream but I did not carry the serum and oil here to Germany from India so I'm not using that but without using that even even without using that using these products I've noticed a drastic change on the way my skin behaves. Last thing I use is this Blissens lip butter. This is in the variant 
raspberry. I am in love with this lip butter. You can see, so nice. I love, I love lip butters and I can't live without them. So yeah, this is how I take care of my skin. And this is my night skincare routine. This is what I've been following it for like one and a half month now. I've been really loving my skin, the way it feels. It feels so nice, so hydrated. This is how my skin has been. It's so nice. I feel it's so, so moisturized enough. And I love the lip, lip butter. It's a little bit here. <laughs> So yeah guys this is all what I have and this is how I do my night skincare routine I have been doing it and I have really noticed a drastic difference in my under eyes uh, about this cream I'll do a separate review on this because I think it deserves a separate individual review and you can see it's so soft it's so nice I had a lot of dark circles but now it's reducing and my skin is so nice yeah Thanks all for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also comment down below how you like this video. And thanks all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.